the McElroy brothers are not experts. And their advice should never be followed. Well, Travis insists he's a sexpert. But if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like Life. Oh, It's better, it's better with you My life oh, It's better, it's better with you This is true oh, It's better, it's better with two My life oh, It's better with you Hello everybody Welcome, my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. And I'm your sweet baby brother in 30 under 30, media luminary, Corporal Griffin McElroy. And we are so happy to finally be here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thank you for having us. You know, this venue, can I say, is beautiful. Is it newer? It feels newer to me. Newer than what? What? Because we play in a lot of, like, vaudeville houses from 1920. Here's here's the thing. When we go into them, we always have to look around and be like, wow, it's beautiful. Wow. But it's old. (laughs) And you go back, and it's all old and small and bad because they made it 100 years ago and nobody cared. (laughs) New places, though? Oh, big rooms back big there. Bathrooms. Big bathrooms. Big, big rooms. Big comfy bathrooms to hide your sins. <laughs> yeah, sure. I was in the orchestra dressing room. That was just mine. I had six toilets. No problem. <laughs> Strangely, you know, all facing each other. Acoustics. Weird. Sublime. Yeah. And, you know, and it's weird. Travis still found me to talk to me, even though I'd hidden myself like the hunchback of Notre Dame in my... In my bell tower. This is the problem of Justin's pre-show is I want to pretend like other people exist. And my pre-show is I want to bother my brother. (laughs) Yeah. It is a bad loop that we have where there are two incompatible ways of preparing the energy we require to do this for you. (laughs) That's why our live shows are always so disappointing. (laughs) This being no exception. Uh, I was telling Justin about backstage and um, that I, I was talking about concerts I've been to recently and... Um, I, I'm very sad about this. I went to Awesome Con uh, last week in D.C. with Griffin, and it meant missing a Matchbox 20 concert that I bought tickets for a year prior. It's tough. It's tough. I know, it's tough. Listen, sometimes when you're an adult... Is that it? No, but the rest of it was... I was going to say, that's I not went very to, funny. A, I was talking about a Dave Matthews Band concert. I went to Legit... And my favorite thing was between each song, he would talk to the audience. And basically, everything he said was the most awkward, like, hippie uncle thing. Like, I think my nephew and, and niece and, you know, other, uh, other people smoke weed. And I want them to know I support it, but I'm going to be funny about it. So he would say stuff like, I hope everybody out there is real relaxed this evening. <laughs> <laughs> or he, at one point he said... Smells like you all are having a great time. Now, but wait a minute. That could mean anything. How many more clever ways did Dave Matthews have to come up with to ask you all for weed before one person acquiesced and gave him some weed? No, because here's the thing. When he did his encore, he played one song and then left the stage. And by the time we exited the venue, the tour buses were leaving. I don't think anyone gave him weed and he was upset. (laughs) (laughs) How many times did I have to ask? <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. We are so happy to be here with you. Um, thank you for having us. We are an advice show. That's true. And what we do is we take your questions and we turn them alchemy-like into wisdom. But first. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, that went it, on long enough that I thought we were going to skate past what <laughs> Travis told us was going to happen, but here we are. So for a while, I've been doing oh, yeah. I've been doing a bit on the show called Abnormals. Thank you. And I, I was doing some abnormals research, and I came across an injury. In the lab. In the lab uh, with my robot, Travbot 5000, who looks sexually like me. <laughs> wow. Um, don't worry about it. And I was going through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villains. Okay, I was going to say, that's dicey territory. Their shells are ripped, but... I came, I came across an entry. And so the... There's that a was story. Liz, Liz did my makeup tonight. Hey, Liz, let's hear it. There's a story behind that, yes. And uh, uh, so, Paul, if you can pull it up, please. It's Hitler. So we're going to play a little bit. For the millions. For the it's millions. A, no, 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 no. no. So, it doesn't say for the millions. It can't say that. That's a picture of Raphael punching Hitler in the face. It says chalk, C-H-O-K. The sound it makes when you punch a Hitler. And he is saying dot, dot, dot for the millions. No. I'm going to, okay, for the you, millions, are we sure? Okay, you can judge that, Justin. You can <laughs> judge that all you want. But if you turn a corner and Hitler's there and you're like, ah, I feel bad. And you have no time to think of what to say. <laughs> I think for the millions is kind of middle of the road of the things you can yell when you... And, and it makes his message clear. Yeah, sure. You know what he's talking you about. You know which side he's on for sure. If he had said, like, for the Doug, you'd be yeah, like, what, what the fuck are you... Why about? are you... Or what if he had I, just yelled, pizza time? <laughs> I'd, I'd go with Third Reich, you're out. And then, That's good. But you had time. You had time. Just now. Okay. I'm going to read you. I had, let's say this. I didn't have as long as the person writing the comic book. That's fair. I'm going to read you the entry, the description of their encounter, and I'm going to have you guys guess the end. Okay. Oh, my God. Biography. I just read it. Hitler's brain was still functioning decades after World War II and powered a time machine. Obtaining a robot <laughs> body, Hitler travels back to World War II to find his past self. The Hitler from the future was destroyed by the turtles, while the past Hitler tries to get the brain only to be punched by Raphael. <laughs> See above. Hitler points a gun at the turtles just as they were about to leave. Leonardo convinces Hitler what? <laughs> okay, is it Leonardo of Ninja Turtles yes. fame? Convinces, convinces Hitler. out of Hitler to give up on... The business. If I mean, I don't know, you know, the bad stuff and yeah. just become an artist full hey, time. you're coming down pretty hard on Hitler there. Okay. Are you sure about this? I just don't want to, I mean, his jo quit his job. Quit his job. Quit your and, job. And, and become a, the war job and then become an uh, artist. That actually might be it. Um, I'm going to say to stop, just stop being such a fucking a-hole about everything. <laughs> Oh, man, you guys know Paul Reveal? Leonardo convinces Hitler that he is in hell and they are demons that have come for his brains. They told the dictator that they already have his soul. Hitler shoots himself in the head so the turtles can't recover his brain. I mean, they don't call them the world's most fearsome fighting team for nothing, guys. That's an advanced level <laughs> maneuver. Whew. I mean, I, okay. Yeah. All right. Demons kicking the door to your bedroom. They're like, we got you. We got you. Don't, like, we got we you. We got you. But you get to pick. We get your brain or we get your soul. You get to choose. I'm going to go brain every time. Cause no, no, no. They told the dictator that they already have his soul. That's what I'm saying. Oh, man, this is wild. Why did they write this, Travis? I don't know. <laughs> I have to assume from the art style and the general drugged-up nature of it, it was the 90s. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> At All that right. point, everybody loved it. Okay, okay, okay. I do have to ask. Was there no point during the adventure leading up to punching Hitler where Raphael thought, I should take off my hat. 
This isn't. Uh, this doesn't feel. I got to right. wait. Yeah, let's zoom in. Because I think it says Turtle Land. Turtle. Well, hold on. I think some some letters are missing. I do think it says Turtle Island. Maybe. Oh, maybe. It's. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Thanks yeah. for sharing that, Travis. Yes, Anyways, you, Travis. that's the beginning of our show. <laughs> Let's do a question. A couple weeks ago, I spilled a whopping 32 ounces of soup in my cool car. Most of it going down into the difficult-to-reach mechanisms and upholstery under the seat. I mean, that's how soup, That's how you soup know? does. It moves into... It's going to go down every yeah. single time. Uh, I cleaned it up pretty dang good, but my car still smells like it cures the sniffles. How do I make my car stop smelling like soup? That's from Grandma's famous cure for the common cold mobile... P.S. It says here, and this is interesting, the North Carolina summer sun famously makes cars very hot inside. So oh. That is fascinating. Oh, wow. That's a game changer in my right land, there. In, the, in my land, the sun does not make hot. No. So I, no. Sun make, in D.C., sun makes in car cold. Um, yeah. It's weird. but It's a weird, kicky thing about North Carolina, sun hot. <laughs> in Ohio? In Ohio? Sun make car wet. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. In D.C., moon hot. What kind of soup? Thank chicken you. Noodle. That's okay, what we, we figured from backstage. the context. It was chicken noodle, but I'm happy Ooh, to Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That a chunky. That a chunky That's so soup. much soup. Why'd you have so much soup, though? Yeah. 32 ounces. That's like two pounds of soup. Do, I, you, do you run it? Is that a, how? Wait. It's different ounces, isn't it? Yeah. Did you say it was two pounds of soup? Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Probably 16 ounces liquid. make a pound. Probably liquid around there, not. yeah. Well, it, that does not track, Trav, but... Lots of different weights. It was a meter of soup. It was a yard, a (laughs) A yard yard of of soup. soup. One stone of soup. (laughs) We couldn't decide backstage. We got into a little, and I think that maybe this would be a good BuzzFeed quiz. Yeah, it's like what would be the worst part to get out of your car? Oh yeah, is it the? See, my, Travis had chicken, and I feel like noodles. All day. The gumminess. No, of the no, because they dry out eventually. Chicken dry out, get old. No way. Bad. bad stink. I'm with Travis. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That would be pretty gr- Yeah, um, that's a lot of soup. I, did, yeah. I didn't want to harp on it, but that's so much. That's, that's too a lot much of soup. soup. I'll that's, say that's, that's too much soup. That's carrying that much in your car, that soupress, as we, we call that. You're just inviting it to spill everywhere. One time my friend Bobby Glasser dropped a big-ass Sprite fresh out the drive-thru from McDonald's this? in the back seat of my car. It was, he was very drunk at the time. He was really drunk. He said oopsie-daisy, which is the first time I've ever heard anyone say that in public who's not four. And it's also important to note it was seconds after he'd been handed it. <laughs> it was so soon. But that is just like, I actually let it sit in the car because it was pretty late and I was extremely tired and mad. Uh, but the next one, I just went out there with some towels and just sopped up the, the, the good Sprite. I had no chunkage I don't to think, deal with. Yeah, I don't think Sprite smells bad over time. <laughs> no, yeah, Sprite smells excellent. There is a sticky excellent. factor, though. There's a sticky there factor. Is a yeah, sticky but it was factor. in the back seat. I, yeah, that's, that's a, good, a burner seat. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> that's a too much soup book. If the smell is the problem, you could take up smoking. That's good. Sell it on a cold day. <laughs> <laughs> Before the sun has had a chance to do its dark works. Thing. I'm going to say if you can get some freshly baked bread in the car to get some of the good bread stink going. Oh, I think you meant to sop it up. <laughs> I mean, if you need to, I guess you could do it for that. But I'm talking about getting just the aroma going in there. And then whenever people come into your car, you could like fashion your own like thing out of marker and cardboard that is like a Glade plug-in that says Panera Bread on it. Mm. And then people will be like, well, it does smell like soup in here, but it also smells like bread, and it says Panera Bread right there. So, obviously, it's a whole thing they're going for. They couldn't possibly have spilt two pounds of soup. Whenever a friend rides with you, always have a cup of soup in the cup holder. And they're like, well, that's it. That's, that's why. That must be it. That's why. It's a, they wouldn't have brought 32 ounces oh of soup God. into their car and spilled it. Hey, at least it wasn't lentils. You would have to drive that car into a lake. It's done. I, the 32 ounces is not the amount, but there is an amount of soup that I could smell in my car where I would just, just not. 
I would not just, get in there anymore. I would just be done with it. And I don't think that looks. I need. What to is com- the amount? Is it lower than thirty two ounces? Know, no, it's more, 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 more. But there is an amount where if it like spilled, I'd be like, I can't. Now it's an art. <laughs> now it's an art piece. There's like, there's like, I would be kind of like a. You know, one of these people. Have you seen this where they walk places? <laughs> I'd be one of them. A podiatrist. I, yeah. I could be that, or I could, uh, I could I could just lean into it and be like kind of a Kind of local, a house guy like, now. <laughs> yeah. Like, be like a local dirt bag. Is that, wait, is that, wait, is that how, like, when you're a recluse, is that how recluse happens? This is I'm what I'm like, saying. Spill too much. My car smells too bad. Might as well just board it all up. I No, I'm saying the car would smell bad, and it would be like, the one keystone that's kind of been keeping me on civilization's yeah. whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. I drive a car that just has soup everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, oh, you mean a uh, sloshy mobile? Yeah. yeah. That's fun. I work an entirely outdoor job with rare opportunities, if any, to use a real toilet while on shift. What is the minimum acceptable distance from my coworkers I can be to do my business? If I don't have something like a tree or a bush to break the line of sight. That's you're on, from, a, you're pon- on the planes. That's from it. Pondering Piss in the Piedmont. The I- correct answer is if there's no tree or bush or wall or car or large animal <laughs> or physical object behind which you can obscure your act, um then the answer is beyond the curvature of the earth. <laughs> yeah. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. It's hard to answer the I mean, distance. That's, well, that's if you believe that it, the earth is round. <laughs> okay. It's hard to calculate the This distance. would be a quick way to figure it out. Just like, yeah. oh, where's he going? Oh, he had to piss. I don't want to see that. He doesn't want you to see it. Well, where's he, he going? Uh, we're in the, still see him. We're in the zero scape. There's nothing here to guard. He his, fell off. Whoa, no. <laughs> Think about the worst seats you've ever had at a concert, right? The worst you've ever seats you ever had at a baseball game. If if the cat in center field drops his pants and starts peeing, you're a really, 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 really far way away. And I guarantee that if that person drops pants and starts pissing, it will be noticed by a large swath yeah, of the yeah. audience. And there's a lot of people out there, but hold right? On. There's a whole. If he was the only person on the field <laughs> and, and dropped his pants and started peeing, absolutely 100% now, of the audience is going to recognize that. Now, wait a minute, Justin. Yeah. What if you're a baseball player on the field to continue your thing? This is already pretty fantastical there's, that I'm playing <laughs> baseball, but go Bases on. Bases loaded. Okay. Two outs. What's that? A grand slam. Everyone's looking. You can get away. Real quick. Uh. So what I'm saying is you need a distraction. This is where the drone comes in. What drone you say? (laughs) That's right. Piss boy 5,000. The the (laughs) drone you piss in. No, no, no. Wait. A drone who goes, look over there, someone's pissing. (laughs) But a different direction. Okay, no, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. The 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 piss boy (laughs) 5,000. A drone you can piss in. I don't want my privacy to interface <laughs> with four <laughs> helicopter no, no, no. blades. No, sorry. You're thinking about the BizBoy 4000. That was our <laughs> old model. We don't sell that anymore. We don't sell that anymore. For <laughs> that reason. That was the it. BizBoy 5000 shows up when you need it. He Biz can Boy sense just, it because he, we put nodes in your bladder. Right. Oh, and God, I really like, got ah, I really got to piss. I get it. If I say, hey, look over there. <laughs> if I say, I really got to piss. <laughs> I would look over at the person with the controls like, Hold it fucking steady. You don't, you don't piss in the piss boy anymore. No, the you The piss do. boy is a distraction no, now. No, you piss in the piss boy. No! <laughs> Listen. Well, then why Please. is it called that? Because I'm telling you reasons. Pro- I can't stress it. No, 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 no. Here's the problem with the piss boy 5000. That'll fool me once. But then I see on Twitter, like, hey, when everybody was looking at the piss boy 5000, Chris Sabo was fucking letting her rip out on center field. We're I would be working like, on the Piss Boy 6,000 no, for that reason. No, the Piss Boy 5,000 is a stopgap until we can fix the cut off your genitals with the blades I'm, of the fan problem. I'm saying it's basically half drone, half bedpan. 
It comes down from the sky. Wait, hold on. TM, no TM, one, TM. You've cracked the 6,000. Have you been in our labs? No one, had, no, one, no one can judge you for peeing in a bedpan. Hospital folk do it all the time. This is just one that happens to well, be Well, patience, fly. right, Justin? Yeah. You know a doctor. Patience, right? Yeah, man. But I bet doctors have get busy. Can Two, you? They get swamped with work and can't get and away. And they need special help. Travis, I have also been in the lab and saw some early prototypes of the Piss Boy 6000. And I just want to say, like, I don't think we need it to talk. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can quibble about the 7000 and think. Yeah. That was the one that we're in the same. They need 000. to anticipate the need, Justin. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I love that. And I love that. We love that. But, like, when it comes down to me on the field and it's, like, ready, yeah. I don't need it to, like, say stuff throughout. Oh, you don't want encouragement? No, I don't think, I don't usually want that His for my toilet. His love is real, but he is not. And it's stuff like that that I don't actually like very much. When he goes yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah, he goes yummy, yummy. This is the best pee I've ever tasted. You don't want him to say that? <laughs> you don't want him to say, as he swoops down from the sky, who's thirsty? It's me. I do this because um, I love it, not because I was programmed. You don't want him to say that? Okay. You want him to be unhappy about it? You want him to say, I wish this wasn't my job, but in this economy? I just thought you'd want him to be excited about it, Griffin. Nope. Nope. Travis, again, four whirling blades. I want him to be as chill as is possible. Excitement I want nowhere near okay, this great. droid. Okay, great. Change it to piss in my mouth if you got a bro. No. <laughs> Just no dialogue. Have you been watching Mrs. Davis? What was the Love question? That. Um, what? Can I piss in a robot's mouth? Yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. You must. Uh, you want another question? I would love one. I recently purchased a bidet and have since grown... A piss a boy, if you will. <laughs> a piss boy. Ain't... It's the French model, Le Pis. Le Pis. <laughs> Le Pisarables. <laughs> Um, uh, that I, gave me goosebumps for real, and I don't know why. Okay, that silence is all of us thinking of the songs in uh -huh. Les Rob <laughs> and trying to come up with pee pee puns of them. The best I came up with was Do You Hear the People Pee? So I kept my mouth shut. Yeah. Shut. Because I didn't have anything. And neither did they, or they would have cut no, me no, off. No. Next question. I recently Wasn't an invitation. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I'm sure they're it's great, not... though. Okay. Uh, I recently purchased a bidet, and I've grown accustomed to certain bathroom experience. I no longer feel clean unless I use one at the end of my business. Would it be cool to bring it with me and install it in my hotel room? It's not Would like... it be cool? It's not like it's hard. I can think of nothing cooler. But will they get mad at me? That's from Bidet Bungled in Section B. Actually, A, but that isn't alliterative. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Bidet user. <laughs> um, we all use we Bidet. All we use all use Bidet. Bidet. Yeah. Hey, we all use Bidet. I Can was, I say something? Actually, mine did not uh, commute from Austin until, no joke, like three days ago wow. we got a new Bidet. That's rough, Wait, man. okay. You got a different one, not like... It was supposed to be It was here. in jail in Austin for eight months. <laughs> like you just kept calling the new owners like, please let him please, go. Please, I need it. I have a certain set of skills. I'm not clean. And one of them is not being able to poop. I'm not <laughs> clean without I it. I think the word that is causing me the most trouble here is installed. Because yeah. hotels, they like you to be like, it's like kind of like forest rules, right? Leave it how you found it. <laughs> Uh, or at least not with extra things installed. Really. Yeah, they don't sure. really want you to install because stuff. Because if you don't know, when you're installing a bidet, there is a water hook. The water got to come from somewhere, y'all. And it ain't challenging, but there's not a zero risk of something going terribly wrong hey. and you having to call the front desk and saying, I don't know I what up so bad. I, now, what you do is you say, I just got in here, and I can't believe the state of this place. Is this the kind of business you all run? There's wires everywhere, and my underwear th there, and <laughs> what a mess. Wait, Justin. And I'm bleeding on the floor from how it 
I messed I, up. I pray to God you're not waiting to install it until the moment you need it. <laughs> I hope you're just, getting in just there. Just sitting on the toilet like, oh, God. It's not, I did mess up my first bidet installation, and that was embarrassing. What did you bidet? <laughs> Um, the fitting wasn't like right, and so there was a leak oh, at the thing, yeah. and so I had to. Oh, get, yeah. All I needed was some plumber's tape. I yeah. wrapped around the thing. Yeah. It's fine. Um, there. So it is. You can mess this up, um, but I don't want there to be more rules at the hotel when you go to it because we stay in a lot. I would be uncomfortable if I had to sign. A, I had to sign a waiver today at the hotel we went to that said that I would not vape in the hotel room. I do not want a second waiver that says I also will not plumb. And I, I'll say this, folks. We two are enough that we've stayed in the same hotel, sometimes years apart. Yeah. And the idea of checking in a second time four years later and them going, Mr. Oh. Oh, fuck. But with us, it's easy because we're going to be like, I'm not that McElroy. That's the other McElroy. He's oh, a fucking freak. I can tell you guys, today I had uh, costume pieces delivered for the task. Tomorrow, be there. And when I picked up the packages from the front desk, as I turned, I heard one of the front desk people say to the other one, yeah, he's part of that comedy troupe. Oh! <laughs> Mamma mia! That hits so right! That's so great! We're all so funny. It sounds more like a real job than whatever it is we <laughs> do do. At least that's like, huh, all right. Comedy troupe. Comedy I troupe. get it. I know what that is. Is that a, is that a movie? I'm so excited to be here uh, with my favorite podcaster, uh, yep. Justin McRoy. Yeah, man. And can I just say, I really appreciate you dressing up to meet me. Like, I didn't know what to expect, but your style game, it's fucking lit, man. Well, thanks, man. I've never had clothes before, and I decided to, like, just try it. You know what I mean? Try clothes just on? To make, just try clothes on. But I didn't know where to start. I had a potato sack that got holes into. Yeah. And that was fine for a, a little bit, but then the itchiness started to give way. Oh, I thought that and was like a character you were playing, like Potato no, Sam. No, no, no. No? Potato Sam, no. That's, this is me. But I went to Stitch Fix, and uh, they helped me find clothes that fit me and were right for my style and my budget. I gave them my my uh, sizes, the kind of things I like to wear, my price range. They got thousand, over a thousand brands and styles bunch of sizes available, and they'll find your perfect fit and send you clothes handpicked just for you. So they'll send you this box. You try on the stuff. You only keep the stuff you like. And then you send back the stuff that you don't, but you're going to like it because you got a personal stylist. It's like working on each box to give you a great look. Uh, um, hey, uh, um, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm here. I won a contest to meet my favorite podcaster, and it yeah. kind of sounds like you're just like telling me an ad. Like you're, you're selling... Right. You're right. Let me personalize this for Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Right. Okay. Travis. Yeah. One thing that I've always believed is that you can try Stitch Fix today at stitchfix.com slash brother uh -huh. and you get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. And that may be an oversimplification, but if there is a meaning to life, yeah. young man, it's that stitchfix.com slash brother will get you 25% off today. Hey, Trav. Yeah. Stitchfix.com slash brother. Okay. Can I read an ad now too? I see your copy in front of you. Can I read one and pretend like it's just something I wanted to talk to like people about? Yeah. Okay. Well, can I ask you about my podcast though? About your podcast? Yeah. Le esta gustando mi podcast? Uh, uh, yeah. Muy bueno. Muy bueno? Oh, gracias. How do I De do nada. that? <laughs> it's not magic. It's yes, magic. yes, that's Spanish they're speaking, but these yeah. kids aren't from Spain. They're from America. <laughs> je suis la en vie. They just have an app called Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L, that helps you learn another language in a fun way. Thank little, God. Like, I know, activities that are like 10 minutes. You can do little games, little quizzes, and, and uh, over 150 language experts they got on their bench, and they're all working together to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Now, are you going to master another language in three weeks? Yes. No, don't be ridiculous. Oh. 
but basic, you know, you start to build the building blocks and that's, that's what it's all about. There's tons of award uh, winning lessons in se- hundreds, actually all designed for all learners based on your level and time commitment, whatever you have to give to Babel. Babel has the gift of language to give back to you in return. Wait, so is it whatever I have to give? Like you got to bring something to the table. It can't be your usual thing. And you know what I mean? Oh, uh, wow. I've never felt more called out in my life, but just let me tell you this. Can I tell you the problem? Yeah. I just did my monthly budget and I only have, what I estimate to be 45% of a Babbel subscription available. Well, good news, Trav. I got a special limited time deal for our listeners and you, because you're listening to me. Oh, yeah. To get you started right now, you can get 55% off your Babbel subscription. That math works out great for you. Yeah, man, that's it's perfect. It's only for our listeners. You go to babbel.com slash my brother. Get up to 55% off at babbel.com slash my brother. Spelled B A B B E L dot com slash my brother. Rules and restrictions may apply. I love that. I love that. Should we also, I mean, while we're here, just go ahead and like tell people like what's coming up and what cool stuff is going on and stuff? I don't have any of that written down, so you're just going to have to freestyle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do it. We've got new merch, including, get this, folks, candles. That's right. Candles. candles. It, so candles are a thing uh, you light a piece of string, and it creates light and heat, and in this case, scent. We've got the new Ooh. Appalachian Workshop candle with notes of lemon peel, cypress, evergreen, cedar, fir, amber, moss. That's a lot. And Poetry Corner with notes of ozone, jasmine, leather, patchouli, Ooh. sandalwood, tonka bean. Really hope that it was going to say tonka truck, but and amber. So check those out. Uh, also, we've got Hot Yeah stickers. Uh, that's a set of two by uh, Sonica Fade. Uh, who is the Jackfruit Slayer on Instagram. We've also uh, got the Garrel plushies for 30% off this month. Whoa, what, uh, a va- what a bargain. I know. And 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to World Central Kitchen, which uses the power of food to nourish communities and strengthen economy through times of crisis and beyond. Uh, also, some tour announcements here. I love when Bus, b- I love when bus Lightyear is like, through times of crisis and, and beyond. beyond. Uh, we've got some uh, tour updates here. Uh, we're going to be at San Diego Comic-Con doing shows with a special guest GM, Brennan Lee Mulligan. Maybe you've heard of him. He's uh, yeah, yeah. he's a friend of ours. He's I don't want to name drop him. I don't want to like, make a big deal but out of him. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a cool dude. We've also got shows coming up uh, in Seattle, Washington on August 31st and September 1st. we got shows at New York Comic-Con October 12th and 13th. Uh, those tickets for San Diego and Seattle are on sale now. New York Comic Con will require a badge to attend, uh, but there are badge free tickets uh, available to watch via streaming. And badges Ooh. for New York Comic Con are on sale now. Uh, you can get all the info for all of that at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. And thanks to Montaigne. We probably thank them at the end of this live episode. Man, I hope thanks. so. Double thanks. I don't remember what happened to the past. Well, let's move on to the future. And beyond! What is up, people of the world? Do you have an argument that you keep having with your friends and you just can't seem to settle it and you're sitting there arguing about whether it's Star Trek or Star Wars or you can't decide what is the best nut or can't agree on what is the best cheese? Stop doing that. Listen to We Got This with Mark and Hal only on Max Fun. Your topics asked and answered objectively, definitively for all time. So don't worry, everybody. We, we got, got this. this. We got this. They can be anywhere, at your office, in your car, and they are wrong. My mom says that the gray house didn't exist, but she's wrong. He just does it wrong. Someone in your life is wrong about something. Something small, something weird, something vitally important. Only one person has the courage to tell them just how wrong they are. You know what you did was wrong, (laughs) but your daughter is a liar who eats garbage. (laughs) They call me Judge John Hodgman. Listen to me on the Judge John Hodgman podcast. If someone in your life is doing you wrong, don't just take it. Take it to court. Submit your case at MaximumFun.org slash JJHO. Bad 
Profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Burger King is revealing each state's preferences around its flagship Whopper sandwich. And the results are clear. Americans love having it their way. Oh, gross. Is preferences in italic? Hold on. I did not need a Burger King experiment and press release to tell me that Americans prefer having it <laughs> their, their way. way. Luckily, there are more than 200 No, you go. Ways. Your turn. After you, ways to uniquely customize the Whopper from adding extra crunch and then in parentheses. Wait, how here, many ways? There's 200,000 ways. No. Then it says, from adding extra crunch and then in parentheses it says, pickles. <laughs> Pickles, you fucking idiot. You adult, you fucking pervert. What did you think we meant? You nasty dog. Spice, jalapenos. And tang, BBQ sauce. Like, they think you're lying? Like, bullshit, you can't add tang. Wanna bet? To doubling and even tripling down on those flame grill beef patties and more. But which states can't be topped when it comes to the most satisfying combinations? And which are purists when it comes to ordering habits? Which states are just extra? And how many Whopper sandwiches can one guest order in a single visit? j Dog, I don't know if you've structured this this way. I feel 100% certain. If you told me the preferred toppings of a state, I could identify the state. Ooh. Without you, can I say you? You probably couldn't. Oh, okay, that's can a I, shame. Can but I, I, can, I will tell you a state, and you can guess based on what you know about it. Can you it. do it the other way around? Because I don't know what the toppings of a Whopper are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not just toppings. It's like Whopper perversions. Per- perversions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can I also ask you this? Yeah. How much money do you think Burger King has that they can do this? Well, we that they have enough money to be like, what do people get on it? Do you mean like just today? No, everywhere, Fucking, all the time. Nobody else is paying for research, so I'm glad that Burger yeah, King right. is doing it. Okay, so you'll just I'll name a state, and you just think about what you know about the state, and then you okay. guess what it is North right. Carolina. Cheer wine. Think about. I'm at. Dang, I should have put diet cheer wine on the rider. Dang oh, it! What the? What were we thinking? And um, barbecue sauce? No. You, Monster. The, North Carolina is, can we, can we enhance, Paul? North Carolina is the doubler state. You ordered the most double Whopper sandwiches. Sit in that. Own that. How many people are like, yeah, I did. Yeah, Does I that sure seem did. right? Is there a few of you who are like, yeah. Yeah, I like, just, just better, it taller here. But Montana got the most triple Whopper sandwiches, <laughs> so what's up now? Listen, hey, Carolina, there, North Carolina, get your shit together. Listen, there's enough people here that we could turn the tide of this fucking thing. If all of you get a delicious, juicy, flame grilled triple whopper tonight. Let's take it away from Montana. Hey, you know what? Fuck that. Order four. Yeah. <laughs> but we've never done four. We don't know if the bun can handle it. Cowards! <laughs> Cowards! Uh, Hawaii. It's pina- pineapple? I, it's not like they, they make don't up new own Whoppers, that. <laughs> Yeah, Travis. no. You ask. It's uh, not like in Colorado you get the Gold Rush burger. Like, it's just how can I say like that? I think, I think uh, a minimalist Whopper experience, I think it's singles with just ketchup. Impossible. Whoppers is number one in Hawaii. They love plant-based. Um, one state set the record for the most Whopper sandwiches sold over the course of a single day last year. What state? Fucking Maryland. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Maryland, you're not that big. Hey, are wait, guys, what was the day? Are you no, what okay? was the day? What happened on that day? It's like, it's like, yeah, it was the day where they said, if you all don't eat enough Whoppers, we're going to kill the baby panda at the zoo. <laughs> 
Get out there. Eat the Whopper so this panda dies. <laughs> bada ba ba ba. It was bada, bada, ba ba ba. We'll do it. It was actually January 6th. They got a lot of traffic through Maryland. On the way. On the way in. On the way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The Burger King probably doesn't want to own that. We disavow that entire hate-filled movement. <laughs> that incredibly it was profitable. fucking great for us, though. So good. Listen, so good. yeah, there are a lot of questions, and you know we support a monarchy, but... There's another record, though, and it's in Ohio. One guest, one guest from Ohio, on one day in 2022, ordered more than 700 Whoppers in a single transaction. One guest? I bet, I'm sorry, everybody. I bet I was were. trying to do a thing. <laughs> I thought, I thought Mr. Beast lived here. I bet that guest was just beloved. I bet oh, he was for just sure. a lot. Yeah, I, we love this cat. Yeah, I yeah. love when I'm in a fast food restaurant and I'm in line, and then the person in front of me makes the restaurant close down. I had 700 hungry orphans with me. Wow. And I ate all of those hamburgers in front of them. Because <laughs> I was teaching them about capitalism. Yeah. Rhode Island has a fun distinction of being the, <laughs> being the state that most frequently adds bacon to their impossible whoppers. Okay. All right. Rhode That's Island. a call out. Let's right? talk. That's a call out. Oh, hey, a straight up. hey, straight up. This is one large group of very ironic friends that are doing this shit. Uh, almost half of all Louisianans customize their Whopper sandwiches. Yeah, you're fucking wild not to. Yeah, right? That, the idea that 50 is the highest is wild That's to me. That's so wild. I've never not customized a hamburger at a restaurant. Are you kidding me? What if they put pickles on there? Yeah, you know me better than me. Raw onions? You know me better than me, so go for it. What's that? Oh, it is yucky, though. What I am just figuring out is out of the three brothers, I'm the least likely one to feel like a problem. Like, I say, however, whatever's easiest. And I didn't think I'd be the one out of the three of us to All say right. that. Okay. All right, y'all. Country roads. Travis, what when do you, you think? Sorry, hold on real quick. When you say no onions, they press a button on the machine in front of them that says well, no onions. They have to onions. press a button. Okay. <laughs> what if it's already done and it's already there and they just hand Grip it? Grip and rip that shit, Justin, trying yeah. to do a sneaky. I, d I did do a Country sneaky roads. one. Country did roads. You? West Virginia. What are we, top what are we tops in? <laughs> What are we tossing? Um, uh, Let's see. Most cheese smoking. added? Yes, yeah, smoking. But smoking. other than... Least, least tomato usage. And Travis? I said most cheese added. Paul? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Nearly 75% of Whoppers sold in the great state of West Virginia... Big cheese. Those are cheese, cheese earrings. Cheese earrings. Fantastic. Can I tell you how I knew? Adding cheese is free, baby. Yeah. Um, um, Floridians are most likely to throw a chair through the window. That is Whoa. It's wild. I don't know why they put that in there. It seems wild. Through a Burger King window. And it says but here, from the inside out. <laughs> most Burger Kings defaced. It says here... South Carolina is the most likely to poop its pants? Weird. So funny. Was it? Some of these people might be from South Carolina. I add, but in a cool way. In a cool, no. I was counting on a rivalry that may or may not <laughs> exist. I don't know. No, they actually like each other, but fuck West Carolina. Yeah. Um, the, the one that uses the app the most is New Jersey. I don't know what you can derive from that, but there you go. Uh, There's a lot of app lovers over listen, there. We got a lot of great audience questions, boys. All right, listen. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna thank go you so much to Burger King for this great research. <laughs> we don't usually thank the companies. Well, they did it for time. us. Okay. They had All to right. pay a lot for that study. Listen, usually we reserve a little bit of time at the end of the show for an audience Q&A. This time we've reserved more time because we got a lot of really fucking great questions from y'all. 
Justin has taken his microphone out of the stand. Never done this before. Things are getting uh, fucking real. Never done this before. It's going to be a long sesh. I'm going to put my microphone in Justin's stand. I'm going to turn my chair around. Whoa, Justin, too real. You're going to... I would do that. Justin, be careful. You're going to convert too many people to Christ if you're not careful. I would do that, but I realized on this tour... There he is. I realized tonight for the first time that under any lights at all, this costume becomes completely transparent. Yes. It's stolen valor, free looksies. (laughs) I've done maybe 10 to 12 shows in this garment already. Mm-hmm. Did not know it until this exact moment. Um, um, so, hi, what's up? Hi, I'm Abby, they, them. I'm actually coming up for my husband. But the question is, how do we get our five-year-old toddler to stop asking him if he's going to smoke a bowl every time he loses at Zelda? Now, hold on. You got to hear the rest of you it. You got to hear the end. You got to hear the rest of it. Every time he gets frustrated by losing at Zelda. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Abby. We all have kids. So I have to ask you this. At one point, did your husband get up to smoke a bowl because they got frustrated at losing at Zelda? And, and tell and now, your child. And, and say out loud, like, I got to smoke a bowl. I'm or so frustrated. Or did you say he's probably going out to smoke a bowl because he's very frustrated? Ganondorf and that's why you're just, up here. Ganondorf just whipped his ass up and down, Hyrule. He's definitely going to smoke a bowl. And he broke his good <laughs> sword doing it. He's, <laughs> he's so Jonathan, funny. Jonathan, don't look at your dad. He's extremely pissed. <laughs> I can't, and, and he's got to go smoke him. It's not about you, honey. It's not. not Ganon broke his good sword. <laughs> and the horse was watching, and the horse laughed. He's going to go smoke a huge bowl. So what happened? This is just what daddy does. Your daddy just needs Daddy this. needs this. Is Hush. that what happened? So <laughs> what's, no, no, what's no, no, no. I know Daniel Tiger says to squeeze yourself nice and slow. Well, what daddy's going to try is smoking Smoke a big, a bowl, huge Nice bowl. and slow. Take, Take a, a deep, deep breath. breath. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. <sighs> it's you. One? I like. We're not done yet, Daniel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I'm Ab- so sleepy, though. I mean, how did we get here? Um, when he was younger, he used to say, oh, I need to go smoke a bowl. And... I don't think he actually understands. The child or your husband? My husband. <laughs> okay. My husband just said that a couple of times when he was younger, and he just caught on. How yeah. much younger? Um, when the child was younger. Yeah, when the child was okay. younger. Okay. Shoo. They I were, went hey, on a Griff, whole journey be, of interpretation. Griff, I don't want to be whatever, but they were probably all younger, if I had to guess. It's fine. That is how time works. Abby, one of my favorite things is, uh, I, was, I was talking with Justin about this backstage, the number of times you try to uh, like uh, try to teach your child things, and then the things that they lock onto. There are two things that both of my children have locked onto, and one is take your socks off before bed because sometimes the threads can wrap around your toes and it's a problem. I don't know why. Wow. I don't know who said it, but now even now, if I'm laying in a bed with socks on, my daughter says, "Daddy, don't forget the number one rule." <laughs> And the other one is, for whatever reason, at some point, my wife told my kids, daddy doesn't like toilet paper with patterns on it. <laughs> Not true. Not true. He, he loves, loves it. He loves defacing I no art. Feeling, I have no feelings either way. But both of my kids are like, daddy, why don't you like pattern? And they won't fucking let it go. <laughs> Um, you could say, may, I don't, maybe, I don't know. Chill. He's way into pottery. No, uh, no, no, you don't no. want to lie. The kid doesn't know what smoke a bowl means. It could mean I throwing. I throw a bowl. <laughs> He's going out to the wheel. He could probably go, he could probably go outside one time and just chuck a bowl into the woods. <laughs> and the kid would be like. I smoked it pretty far. <laughs> Damn, it's. Dad is pretty pissed, huh? I always wondered. Take a I'm, bowl, a ceramic bowl out there, and then shoot it with a gun. Be like, smoke that bowl. That would probably be, 
You'd probably feel better about Zelda, too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, sure. That'd be a healthy way of dealing with that, I think. And the worst part is, that's a vicious cycle, because that bull ain't going to make you better at fighting Ganon. No. Nah. I'm sorry. Am I mean, there it? isn't a point where you lose to Ganon six times. He goes, hey, man, just pause. Are you fucking high? Because we Are can you come high back. right now? Uh, does that does that help? Fucking Abby? Mario comes in, uh, his golden tanuki suit. Like, let me. Are you fuck? Are you fucked up right now? Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Do you need some help? Do you need some orange slices? Um, does that help, Abby? Yes, thank you. Thank you All so right, much. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Jamie. I use she, her pronouns. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. So, like most people, I don't know a lot about bees. Mm. Um, I know they hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, And I know that there's different types, but I don't actually really know what there's the different types bees. are. There's big bees. There's little bees. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. But I agreed to do a bee census tomorrow. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Now, Jamie. Let Jamie okay, sorry, finish. Jeff. So, help me. You... <laughs> Oh, you thought, huh, huh. Now, ja Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Jamie. Hey, Jamie. What I about this? Yeah. Hey, Jamie, I got your email. I know you have a phone here. I mean, you got phone and internet, bud. That time could have been much better spit. With yeah. The, uh, just a super quick be and, Google. And sometimes even with all the access of Google, it's hard to come up with the right search term. Kinds of bees. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie. Who asked you to do this? Yeah, this is an amazing question. Why did you get wrangled into doing bee counting? Because you said yes, and uh, someone could blame you. But someone asked you. Right. So, someone came to you, okay, Jamie. Let's would, let Jamie okay, actually sorry, yeah. talk. Thank you. I have a friend who is an apiarist. Okay. So he knows the types of bees. I'm just okay. not going to measure up. That's a bee now, expert. Now, wait, hold on. An apiarist is a bee expert. Your friend doesn't expect you to know bees, Jamie. They're lonely. They wanna, <laughs> oh, now, now, no, 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 hear me out. They don't want to go look at bees by themselves. Here's yeah, a, lot of people, a lot of people act like people who love bees don't smash. And I'm here to say it's not true. People who love bees can also love smashing and smooching it all doesn't, the time. No, I don't mean that. Loneliness is, can be all things. I yeah, did I'm not, just saying. I did not realize there was a second balcony in this theater until just Whoa! this moment. Y'all go so high up. What's up? That Jamie, actually makes me a little dizzy to look at yeah. you, so I'm going to keep it down Jamie. here. Okay. We could piss on stage and you all would not have any. Jamie, I don't care what my pervert brothers say. I'm uh, just saying... But they don't want to go look at bees by themselves. Yeah. They want to go with you because they're your friends. Yeah. And maybe you smash out. Because here's shush. No, 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 it's not about the smashing. Jamie, no. Here's the they thing. They might have my girl disease, and they don't want to be around a bunch of bees without someone. My girl disease. My girl disease? <laughs> they might have my girl disease, and they don't want to they be around. They caught a bunch it when they were young. They might have my girl disease, and they don't want to be around a bunch of bees. Hey, did you hear sunk? Derek was out of school this week? Yeah, he got my girl, he got my girl disease I'm really bad. I'm talking about a safety issue, guys. This is going to be on Huber. It's about the fact that if you have my girl disease, you shouldn't be around a bunch of bees without I, someone to give you a, a, a epinephrine. I don't know. Also, Jamie. Yeah. I don't know. Nora how to, epinephrine. <laughs> Nora. <laughs> Jamie. You know I mean, I don't know how to tell you this. It is. If you went home tonight and you pulled an all nighter studying the different types of bees, that would not be enough to do a good job at what has been asked of you, which is counting bees, which is to say you see one bee and you go one and then you see a yeah. different bee, unless you're, and you go unless two. Unless you're eating the bees as you count them, I have no idea how you're going to make this work. And then you go three. No, wait. I did that one already. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to paint them with nail polish? As you you got to tag them. Yeah. Uh, you, you should fake diarrhea. <laughs> but what about the smashing? No. What? What? what about the smashing? I, I got it. Ch -ch 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 I got better. <laughs> No. Oh, shit, you have so many stings, but I got better. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if your friend who is a, a studies bees asks you to go, just practice saying this in different ways, and what's that be? Yeah, they'll That's love that. why they want you does, there. Does that help? I can definitely be a bee appreciator. Okay, All right, great. thanks, Thank Jamie.
Hey. Hello. Hey, I'm Mandy. She, her. Hi, Hi Mandy. Mandy. Mandy, how can I help? Real quick. I don't stargaze enough. How do I stargaze more? Yes, thank you. Thank this, you, Mandy. This you were saying real quick before that, too, Mandy. Like, real quick? I don't stargaze. <laughs> I wanted to address this, Mandy, because it's I talk- so good, Mandy. It's so good, Mandy, because like, okay, don't think about it. Quick show of hands. How many people wish they were the sort of person <laughs> that stargazed more than you do? Yeah. Right? We all want to be, but what's the problem? It's boring. boring. <laughs> there it is. Exactly. It is why. Without fail, every single one of you in this room tonight, if someone said, I'm going to go do a planetarium, you'd be like, fucking shortcut, yes. Yeah, absolutely. They fast forward through the They're stars and point at them. A busted down cassette of Leonard Nimoy tells me which stars kick ass, and there's an yeah. arrow pointing at them, and I love it. I love this thing. A fucking yes. cheap. I bought a telescope when I was in college. We've all been there. Yep. And put it up on the roof of the apartment building I was on and looked in it. You looked at the moon one time. These, I was, no, I was looking at the incredible stars. Yes. And I was like, ah. And then I was like, what? Is that one Beetlejuice? And then I looked to my side and there was nobody there to confirm or deny this information. So I was like, yeah, probably Beetlejuice. This is fucking boring. It's just so boring, right? There's so many of them. They're so far away. So here's what you need to do. You can't start, you can't start with the telescope. Huge investment. You got to build up. First, you're going to do this. <laughs> right? And then toilet paper tube. Then paper towel tube. Then kaleidoscope. <laughs> then build your way up. It's then gonna some baloney yeah. you've rolled into a tube. Did it's going to take a while. Did you all ever have that thing where there was going to be a meteor shower late at night so your parents woke you up in the middle of the night? It, it'd, be nice, um, it'd be nice to feel that kind of safety again, wouldn't it? Things were, wow! Things were simpler, I feel like, back then for a lot of us. And it would be nice to be there in that sort of part of my life again. You know what I mean? I don't think I really appreciated it, feeling that secure, you know? Just one, just, <laughs> just... No, you leave it on. It's fine. Mandy, does that help? No, why? I flipped it down. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Don't touch my mic. Does that help? Always does. All thank right, you, Mandy. Thank you. Hi, I'm Trey. Hi, Trey. You, you even, even sound, sound like, like him, him a little bit. What's up, my dude? So I use he, him pronouns. Hey, Hi, Trey. Trey. But my question, which I will also need to elaborate on a little bit. No, I don't think I you will, will, my friend. <laughs> is how do I get people to stop asking if I'm Mr. Beast? Yes. <laughs> Now, the important details here are I work for a pretty big tech company. Oh, God. And sometimes I have to do weird stuff like carry around a suitcase that says top secret. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. And it doesn't help that I live about an hour and a half of Mr. Beast. Yeah, Yeah, How How often? How many times, like, a day, a week, If it's less than three, I'll be fucking amazed. Since his meteoric rise, I would say four times a day. Okay, so here's A day? Here's the thing. Four times a day. I don't get asked if I'm Travis McElroy four times a day. (laughs) If if you don't know who Mr. Beast is, he is 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 a YouTuber who is very rich and very influential and looks... Not kidding, exactly like the human being in front of you. <laughs> hey, Trey, you look cooler. You do yeah, look you cooler, look Trey. Cooler, Trey. That. Um, that Sonic shirt, he wishes. <laughs> Trey, Trey, uh, can I just say, I, I don't know the answer to this question. When you do find it, it will be very difficult to get there. But the good news is, and I'm sure you probably already know this, if you can figure out the answer to this question, the extent to which you can exploit that for your own personal gain is unfathomable to the average human. Hey, look at it this way, Dre. Uh, pretty soon, Mr. Beast is going to be asking you, how do I tell people I'm not Mr. Beast, right? You can A sell Prince that to and Popper situation where you switch around. Mr. Beast for a day. I'm President Beast. <laughs> you should, like... Try to get in touch and just be like, this is a problem for me. You'll probably end up with a suitcase with $10,000 in it. Like and an that airplane. Happens. And it says top secret on it. Yeah. 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 Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, you're wearing glasses. He could probably fix that for now, you. Hey, yeah. At, at some point. <laughs> yeah. 
That's a good one. Today, I paid for LASIK for a dude who looks a lot like me. <laughs> and while he was under, I put a tattoo on his face so no one would confuse the two of us. At some point, you're going to decide that you hate this situation more than you love your beard. And then you'll fix it. You'll fix it in an afternoon. No problem anymore. But I think that you shouldn't have to change because you were there first, right? You were so here. you're going to have to find Mr. Beast and shave his beard. For supremacy, you got to shave Mr. Beast's you got to shave Mr. Beast's face. I was, in fact, there first. Yes, exactly. Hey, but wait, what, what does wait, that but, mean? Hold on, wait, but hold on, wait. What's your fucking job that you carry around top secret briefcases around, my, my guy? I am the territory sales manager for, manager for Google. Okay, the rest of this is now classified. How do you sell Google to people? <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all heard about this? What are you doing? Bing, smash. <laughs> Tell me a question. Any question that you have. Um, I was about to ask if it helped, but I'm pretty sure. like shaving. You look like Mr. Beast. Use it. Yeah, yeah use it use for good. It. You're the best of us. It's helped more than it's hurt. There we bet. go. Hi, brothers. Hi. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Uh, my question was, how do I get customers in my store to stop slapping s our statues of Slimer and Spider-Man on the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> how, I'll ask you the same question I asked for Mr. Beast how many times? How often? Multiple times a day. Yeah, sure. Multiple Multiple the last one was yesterday. I don't get my butt slapped. No. Okay. Can, I tell you so <laughs> Can I tell you something, Jake? Yep. Spider-Man I get. Yeah. I was okay, Griffin. Thank oh you. Things about wait, hold things on. I, yeah. things I, know, I was going the other way. Yeah. Whoa. Th things I know about Spider-Man is a human. Has a has a bu butt. Has a butt. <laughs> has a defined butt. Whether or not you are attracted to Spider-Man, you can look at Spider-Man and be like, and there's the butt. If you could do that at Slimer with the same amount of Hold certainty. On. No, that's Paul. Paul, I would have to, up, Paul, yeah, I'm have to ruin my phone. Now, <laughs> thing. Hold on. It's and just, Paul, don't bring up one of your weird, sexy <laughs> pictures of Slimer. <laughs> it's just the hole where the hot dogs fall out, right? I mean, wherever the whole hot dogs are sliding out of his body, that's the butt. There are a lot of internet memes of Spider-Man's en flagrante smacking butts. That exists. That's out there. I get it. Slimer, fucking transparent. You pass through. Okay, hold on. Travis has just found the one picture of thick Slimer that I was waiting on. That's, his, that's the small of his back. He doesn't have a butt. Guys, it's tour manager Paul. I'm really afraid to show you the first picture that hold I Hold on. Found. I'm going to vet it. Absolutely not. Show, okay, wait, wait. Well, here's what we can do. Show it for like a second. <laughs> Is there any way you can put it on just the monitor? Yeah, no, but I will say this. It came from a tweet. For the last several years, there's been a brutal battle between Ghostbusters fans and replica prop companies over the accuracy of Slimer's ass cheeks. Could you... Could you put some jelly on it? I was about to say! Because... If you put a good... Except Justin Tyler, putting jelly on Slimer's butt would make it more slappable. Because you'd slap it and you'd be like, yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted. No, no, no. It would have to be... you got to put like a smack roll of a, a red jelly that was clear. Red? Oh, oh God, what have I done? Hey, guys, oh, God. Red. Okay, listen. Jelly I, on Spider-Man, sandpaper on Slimer. The important thing about putting jelly on Dry things... Dry Slimer out. Travis has got it. If you, the important thing about putting jelly on things is not that... <sighs> the important thing about putting jelly on things is not that they touch it and come back with jelly. Because then you've already lost. They need to see the jelly is there. And then be deterred because of the impact of the jelly. If they see the goop on Slimer... They're not going to want to touch the bottom. They were already only dared to anyway. So they don't want to touch it because they don't want the jelly on their hands. That's sweet, Justin. You're so sweet. I love that, Justin, you gentle motherfucker. What other reason could anyone have for touching Slimer's butt? Hey, do you want the actual answer? Very much. Yeah. You're going to put a tip jar at the front, two tip jars. Yeah. And it says, did you slap Slimer's butt or Spider-Man's butt? Yeah. And they're going to walk up and be like, meh. 
and put money in them because they know what they fucking did. They know what did. they fucking did. <laughs> Don't, do not, listen. Wait, I thought it was voting. Like, which one did you like snapping no, 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 better? No, no. This, is, no. this is just penance. <laughs> yeah. Jake, do not put a suggested donation. You will make so much fucking money from somebody's like, oh shit, I thought I could slap Slimer's ass and be the first one. I'm going to put a hundred fucking dollars in here. Now, you are running the risk of, like, someone gets to the jar before they see Slimer, and then they slip a 20 in there and be like, I will be back with you in a bit. I missed that on my first go-round. I've got to avail myself of the facilities. Listen, <laughs> Excuse me. all I'm saying is in this day and age, there are politicians who can get away with anything. Yeah. Imagine you watch a senator walk in and smack Slimer's ass as hard as they can, and then they turn around and you see they see you looking, and you're like, "Jar." Yeah. And you don't even have to say for my silence. It's I implies. I just actually read on the news that Slimer paid twenty dollars to slap Ted Cruz on the ass. <laughs> Does that help? So much. Thank All you right, so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey. Hey, this is the first... I'm really excited uh, because... <laughs> Paul just, texted so long ago, piss Saigon. Like a hundred years ago. Thank you so much, Raleigh, for having us. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you. Uh, so good. Thank you to the uh, May Mandy concert hall. Did I say that? Or is it Mon? Man, May I got Mondi. To, May Ma- Mandy. May Mandy. Why are you saying it? You I shouldn't have, have any said idea. it. We didn't Covering all bases. need to be wrong. Thanks um, to um, Paul, Amanda, and Rachel uh, for, for making this show possible. Thank you to Wonderful for... Oh, oh, Travis, please. <laughs> for opening for us, but mostly Rachel. Because yeah, Griffin was going to be here. Thank you. Thank you to Rachel. Thank you to my son, Henry who as I was coming up to do the show, the elevator doors were closing. And I said, uh, like, bye, buddy. And as the doors were closing, he said, I'll miss you, little sailor man. (laughs) So fucking funny. Okay. Okay. And he said it, picture in your head how you wish he had said it to Griffin. Correct. Exactly like that. That's right. Okay. I'll miss you, little sailor man. I've looked forward to this for Me a couple too. weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, Are yeah, you yeah. all ready? Oh, uh, thank you to Liz for doing my makeup. Thank yeah. you to Liz. And thank you to Montaigne for the use of yes. things on My Life is Better with you. you. It's okay. so good. Did we say thank you to Rachel? Yes. Thank okay. you to Amanda. Yes. Okay. okay. Ready? We're going to do a quick cleansing sonic bath. But here's the thing that I've been thinking about a lot. Is that you're there too. Yeah. And so it would be also pretty cool if you could bathe us. Now... Wait. <laughs> He's right. He's right. But, I, but let's keep it chill. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because if all of you start making a bunch of wild noises, it's going to be really bad in here. I, now, I thought about this. What if, Griffin, you took that aisle That's over? That's great. That's great. I took this center section. Justin, you took that aisle over. Okay. You copy me left side. Travis, take middle. Justin, take right. right. Okay, we're right. We're going to start with this. We're going to go. Uh, Join me. Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me, because you're not square on the lips. Bye. MaximumFun.org Comedy and culture Artist owned Audience supported